day I look at myself and I'm like, wow, I, 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 I'm in shock of all my own actions, yeah. you know, I wish I could take the, the time back to the past and act in a better way, but it's kind of late. It's always the same. It's always the same. You always make me look crazy. I never said. Yes, you do. Were... You're always defending that goddamn bitch, and you're comparing me to her all the time. Jasmine, we have so much to talk about. First of all, are you watching the show back every week? Uh, yes, uh, I'm watching the show. As a viewer, I can I can tell you that I'm enjoying a lot watching the other couples you know i'm so into what's gonna happen next it's so interesting yeah. but then when it comes to my story it hits me differently you know it's always um uh, kind of hard uh, i judge myself a lot on my actions you know uh because sometimes i was like uh out of control you know uh for some of the things that i did on the show and um it helps me just to have like a self-reflection on myself. You have something with the waitress. It has nothing to do you with- You have something with the waitress. Do you have any regrets about your behavior toward Gino, specifically your jealous behavior? Absolutely, I regret. I believe it was like way too much. Maybe it's, I believe that it is okay expressing how you feel. What could be dangerous is not letting the person know how you feel, you know. But maybe my approach, the way I expressed those feelings was definitely not the best because I was being way too emotional. And you have to understand that I was, uh, and it has nothing to do with Gino, it has everything to do with me, okay? It could have been Gino or any other guy I was dating. My reaction will still be the same because I was the problem, you know. Uh, I was coming from a very difficult relationship in which I was getting divorced. There were my two kids involved, you know, I was very vulnerable and I was being very emotional and I didn't, I, then I was so, so long, like so many years without being in a romantic relationship with a man, you know, and it was difficult for me to get used to, you know, having someone and expressing my feelings the best way. But if I regret, absolutely, uh, it was way, way too much. Do you ever see yourself easing up on your jealousy? For instance, not getting mad if he wants to tip a waitress or if he's talking to another woman? Yes, uh, I believe that um, I can get to that point because as I said, the problem is the problem was not that I didn't trust, you know, okay? It's not like, it's like me, the way I, I look at myself, you know? Like I look at myself uh, at that moment in my life, like, oh, I'm, I'm not enough, mm. you know? I, I, I was feeling like um, I was not worthy, you know? And I, I saw like every woman, like, you know, like a threat to my relationship. A threat, yeah. It, it's coming from trauma trauma in the past, trauma from my childhood, trauma from my broken marriage. I, I can see that watching myself uh, in the show and I get mad because I'm the biggest judge on myself. Like, what were you thinking? That thing with the waitress was way too much. And in real life, I'm a super sweet, kind person. I couldn't believe I said that. I couldn't believe I refused to let Gino give a tip. Um, it's like I'm watching this girl and I can't believe that's myself. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is really relatable. You know, some some of us might not have gone to the extreme levels that you have, but trauma will cause you to see things that aren't even happening. A woman is looking at your man and you think she wants your man and she really doesn't. Trauma will do that. So what are some of the things you're doing to heal that trauma and work on yourself? I'm doing a lot of meditation, you know, a lot of reflection. Um, as a literature teacher, I love writing. I put my emotions into words and paper, and I'm trying to not to judge myself as hard as I used to do in the past, because then I feel even worse and more guilty. And and that's not, you know, that's, that's negative as well. 
every day I've been with you, we're, I feel like our bonds, we haven't grown, we're growing at like a closer con bond and a, we're having a better connection, you know? Let's talk Gino because he loves you. He has stood by your side through it all. What is it about Gino that attracts you to him, that has you wanting to marry this man? I like him physically, first of all. I believe like he's a very attractive man. He is like very calm person. He likes process. He doesn't let himself get too emotional by the heat of the situations, you know? And he's extremely sweet, very sweet yeah. guy, you know? And that's a gentleman. And that's, though, to me, those were qualities very hard to find in a man nowadays. Is Gino's head that bad? Do you ever think he'll get comfortable enough to show it? I mean, that is something that only Gino can answer, I believe, you know? But from my perspective, uh, there is nothing wrong with his head. I truly believe that he looks even better without the head, you wow. know? He looks very attractive. Uh, I think that this actor, Bruce Willis, I believe, that's the name, uh -huh. you know, he's kind of, you know, the same shape and everything. And we're talking about a Hollywood actor. And he looks very similar with, uh, to, to this person without the hat. So it has nothing to do with the way he looks mm. because he's still attractive with or with, without the hat. He's not comfortable with this new version of himself that is without the hair. And only time will tell if he will eventually be comfortable, you know, being outside without wearing a hat, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up, it seems as if we're going to learn that Gino isn't as innocent as we probably thought. Apparently, his ex tells you that he sent her naked pictures of you. Did you send her naked pictures of me? I know you can't tell us much, but what can you tease? Uh, I can just tell you that it was, it was super sad for me. The way, you know, I, I, I was given this information. It was very shocking. I was not expecting it, uh, especially because all the time I was telling myself that this topic with the excess was all in my mind. It was all in my head. And, you know, uh, I was not that wrong. My intuition was kind of right because he was still communicating uh, with uh, his ex. More than being mad, uh, it's something disappointing for me. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's, it, it's like a violation to, to your privacy and especially coming from someone you, you, you love. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of that, there are some rumors circulating that Gino has been in a sugar daddy, sugar, sugar baby situation in his previous relationship. What do you have to say about that? You know what? Even if it is true or not, I believe we all have a past. You know, we'll have a past and I I cannot judge Gino from what he did in his past relationships. I... I do believe that he, so far, as you can see in the show, he has uh, shown me that he's a good person, that he's so into me. I mean, this man has not run away from me after showing my, my super crazy and wild side. If he did it, it's just out of loneliness and wanting, mm. wanting company. And I know that back in the United States, you know, uh, before he lost his job, he was a very busy man, was working all the time. And maybe, I don't know, he didn't have the time to go and take girls and he relied on this website. I don't truly really know, you know, but uh, I, I believe that, you know, overall, he, he's a good man and he will never disrespect a woman. For sure. Well, are there any misconceptions that 90 Day fans might have about you that you want to set straight. Being a gold digger, <laughs> like, you know, I'm constantly yeah. called these names like, hey, you're a gold digger, but uh, let me tell you something, girl. If I'm gonna date someone for his money, it's gonna be like filthy rich, you know, like millionaire, like tons of money. If there is no love involved, I'm gonna find a man like he's like super, super, super rich. Uh, 
not you know that is more like average you know so people those are misconceptions and i always laugh about it like give me a break come on 